Hi, Zeus here, up Alto, who's currently global number one populated on my map, and I'm going to try to beat him showing you a new troop technique with a troop combination that is even more powerful than the last one that I used to beat him. So Up Alto has one of the hardest bases to beat on Boom Beach, and it's a two grappler base with nine boosted dice. A lot of the top players can't even beat him, they struggle, but we figured out ways to, to beat him. And now we're just trying to refine this, do it even better. Now the last uh, video that I showed you beating Up Alto, uh, I beat him with only, I think, less than 10 seconds left. So I'm going to try a new technique using four laser rangers and no zookas in the troop mix. And I think that this will be better and easier, but we're going to see. <laughs> we're going to try. Uh, hopefully I'll even beat them. I mean, there's no guarantees I even beat them. So, All right, so we start by barding these flamethrower and machine gun there and the two defensive buildings alongside them. And this also helps to position your laser rangers in the right spot when they come out from under the smoke to do the maximum damage to the maximum number of buildings. Now, I'm not gonna completely bark down that machine gun. If you're wondering why, it's just not necessary because the laser rangers will destroy the machine gun before it gets to react. I throw down a critter box to get rid of two boom mines that are hidden there, as well as a mine behind the uh, sniper tower. And then I smoke and flare my troops over to the spot that I'm targeting to start the, the main attack on the bulk of his troops. And you'll notice that from that position, there's a nice line of defensive buildings that are behind uh, where the laser rangers are gonna shoot. So they do a tremendous amount of damage. You notice that several buildings go down instantly from the initial blast. This is how you really maximize the damage from laser rangers, and it's really, it's really critical. Now you notice that the mass of my troops going left are also attacking multiple defenses behind the core as they're proceeding. And as soon as that boom cannon on the left goes down, the rest of the laser rangers move into position to start attacking the defenses that are behind the core. So a lot of the defenses behind the core are already destroyed. The rocket launcher was pretty critical to the whole thing. And as soon as I have the gunboat energy to flare, <laughs> which I don't at the moment, I'm going to flare uh, over to the grappler there, bring my troops close to it, destroy it, and then they'll be close to the rest of the key defenses that I need to destroy, including that rocket launcher that I need to destroy there. As soon as that's done, I flare back all the way to the right to destroy the shield gem. And the issue here is with the troops that I have with two shield gems going, it is possible that I'll actually run out of time trying to beat his base. I flare over to the middle and the rear so that I can pick up all of the remaining defenses with my laser rangers, destroy them, and then get the other shield gen on the far left. With both shield gens down, this base can be beaten relatively quickly, but I still only have a minute and a half to go. All the defenses on the left are down now, and now I'm attacking the last shield gen. So the shield gen is down, and now I'm going to flare back to a position where I can shoot through the core at some of the remaining defenses. I have a minute left to go to take down the core, and this should be relatively easy to do it in time. So, again, using this technique, I am able to beat up Alto's base more rapidly and with fewer troop losses, which is you know really fantastic. So, anyway, super cool. I mean, made it look relatively easy beating one of the hardest bases on Archipelago and Boom Beach, Glo global number one, up Alto and with the relatively moderate troop losses. All right, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. hope you enjoyed the video. And please, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. We've got over 160 videos on a variety of Boom Beach topics. 
And with that victory, I am now Global 75 and number four in the United States. And please give this video a like. It'll really help build our channel. And thanks as always to Hercules for help with the video editing.